Welcome to the Rad Pack Podcast. I'm your host, Garrett, from Born to be Rad, a.k.a. the Rad Influence. And I'm Mel from My Killer Podcast, a.k.a. the Rad Bandanner. And what the heck? Where? Yeah, good question, Kip Flashback. No one knows. No one knows. <laughs> I think Dynamite Tiger uh, is the winner. So, woo, oh my go. god, let's <laughs> let's go to the chat and see uh, and see if he pops in here um, tonight. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> the amazing Rad Trio, kind of. What's up? Yo, man? Adrian. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. I got a lot of Melski in here. Hey, hey, Melissa. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like Tiger. What's up? Back from a rehearsal dinner for family. Back home just in time. I just literally walked in the door and jumped on here myself. Probably like so. Probably about 17 minutes ago, exactly. Uh, what's up, Zombie Daddy Films? How are you? Hello. Let's see. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh boy. Um, we do. No, I was all ready to go. Uh, <laughs> I will not be showing my duster collection here. I will be showing it later tonight on the members only stream that we're gonna do uh after hours following this one. So that's where you're gonna find that. Um, let's see. What's up, Sean? Welcome to the show. Alan is in the hello, house. Hello. Let me see. Mama Blu ray's in the house. What's going what's on? What's up, Mama? Mama? What up, Dark Knight Cap? Welcome to hello. the show. And Scratch, what's up, man? Welcome to the show. We appreciate you guys being here. We got something a little bit different tonight. I mean, it. it it was one of those things where, you know, when people talk about the Rad Pack, it's like, oh, they wear hats and bandanas and beanies and jackets and all this rad gear. And Miss Mel over here is big into fashion herself. So we figured, why not change it up tonight and talk a little bit about our favorite or the raddest movie jackets of all time? Because I'm a big, like, jacket guy myself. Like, when I go to stores and I go shopping, I'm always looking at jackets. I have so many jackets. All different kinds, colors, leathers, denims. And uh I got this cool one today. Well, I got this one on today. It's the it's a denim, but it's the it's the Lost Boys. Look at this. Nice. Ooh. Look at that. The old that, that Warner Brothers joint. You know, the old <laughs> the old Lost Boys from the, the Warner Brothers ball cap. That uh that old collection there. But yeah, so Mel's rocking the leather over there. That's right. And we had ourselves a little top five thing going on today where we're going to tell, tell you our personal top five raddest jackets from movies. Now, guys, you can feel free to chime in on anything like that we say, or maybe there's some that you really like that you're thinking about off the top of your head. Um, and we're going to talk about that. It's not going to be a long stream. We'll interact with you guys as we go. Hopefully, Justin jo does join us at some point tonight because we're supposed to be on double duty tonight. So at some point... I hope he pops in or I don't know, unless he's at that point now, because, you know, I think he did hit 10,000 subs. So maybe he only does the members only streams now. Maybe he's, he, he doesn't want to do these ones anymore. He's just kind of like a special feature kind of thing. So I don't know. He's outgrown he, us now. He's AKA the special feature. Yeah. We're only going to get Justin <laughs> on members only shows now. <laughs> it's like a pay to play or something, you know? <laughs> he just he didn't renew his contract he's demanding more money he's just right. only fans now yeah unfortunately he's, he's, i don't know i really don't know where he is hopefully he's safe wherever he is but um yeah he's he's the closer you know he's definitely he's gone hollywood he's the closer i mean for sure he's gonna come in with a straight jacket <laughs> that would <Yeah>. actually that, <laughs> that, that would actually be sense. Yeah, like that would that would win me over if he did that. Uh, <laughs> so, anyhow, now as we get into this, like I said, we each had five jackets that we chose that we absolutely love for movies. So, what I felt like the easiest way to do because I didn't want it to get spoiled um, for me or Mel or anybody else. So, I figured what we could probably just do is when someone brings one up, I can just share the screen and we can just kind of Google it and 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 look at it ourselves if anybody out there doesn't know like which one we're talking about 
Now, I have my five here. I know Mel has her five. I kind mm-hmm. of mine. I know we didn't really talk about ranking them, but I kind of feel like I would do mine from like least to best. But again, it's a top five, which I could have easily chose 10. Like, I mean, they, I just had a list, a laundry list. And like I said, um, it's because I'm just a big fan of jackets in general. And I always kind of pick up on that when I look at, you know, different movies and stuff. But um, guys, we got a little surprise for you right now. We had to call an audible. Okay, at the last second. So let's give a round of applause for the Audible. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. What's up, guys? Cody at Dude Who Loves Movies. What is up, man? Thank you for being our Audible, a.k.a. the Audible, the Rad Audible. (laughs) (laughs) He's Uh, our phone a friend. Yeah. And Justin, if you are happen to turn this on, please come in still. Um, I don't know what's going on, but you are still hopefully going to jump in at some point. Um, but yeah, so Cody will just be the fourth man if Justin comes in. But as of right now, he is the third man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I have a question. Is this movie jackets or is it just jackets in general? Mo- jackets, like movie jackets. So basic, like like in the sense of if you watch the movie and the person was wearing a cool jacket, okay, that you would okay. use that as, and it's only five. So I mean, even if okay. you have to kind of try to think of them as we go, because I know we literally told you like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah so it's not like the michael jackson thriller jacket or whatnot right? no but i mean again i i, I wouldn't say that would be up, wrong um... because you know that that technically was a music video i mean it was it was pretty you know close and i mean we've seen that jacket pop up in movies and stuff before so i mean yeah i wouldn't say that's disqualified especially mm-hmm. for you that had five <laughs> minutes to figure out a list that we took all week to do so yeah nice. um but the people are people are happy people are happy so we we got people chiming in like it Look at that. <laughs> you can always count on the dude. That is true. The code master. My man, Cody. So, yeah, people are happy to see Cody. So, Cody was a good was a good pickup, I think, tonight. It, it was a swerve, I know. But hopefully, <laughs> like I said, Justin does find his way in. And then we can kind of figure out what the story is. Me and Mel assume the story, but... You know, there's only, there's only have, so many times going. you can use this you can use the same excuse i think you know it's like touching a hot stove you know at some point you figure that you figure it out you know i have a feeling justin thinks the show is probably because he's an hour behind me mm. and but mel's an hour behind me too so she figured it out i'm like three um, hours behind you though okay so you're three hours <laughs> behind well, we sun, appreciate you dude the sun is still out <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, it's dark here. <laughs> yeah, it's dark here too. But before we start, now that we have Cody here. Oh yeah. All right. So I got home. I literally Ugh. ran in the door. I had packages on the table. Mm-hmm. I opened them really quick. I threw the headband on. I threw the jacket on. I ran downstairs. Like that, that's that. Um, so I got this package from Cody for my birthday, and it was a case of woo energy. <laughs> The old Ric Flair energy drink called oh Woo Energy. <laughs> and it says Ric Flair Sip, Energy and Focus, Mushroom Blend. What does that mean? What Don't does know. that mean? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Oops. So, Is it like the mushroom coffee, though? Because I've had maybe. that, and that's really good. It, it sounds be, gross, but I've never had it before. <laughs> um, I'm going to try it now. It's the This one is the strawberry banana. So... Again, yeah. it's been a crazy day. I've had like zero time to do a thing, so I am <laughs> exhausted. So uh, let's see how this thing tastes now. I got a case for myself too, but it hasn't. It's supposed to be delivered today, but I, like I just got off of work and jumped on here, so I haven't checked. We appreciate it's it. all right. I mean, it kind of. I can kind of taste how maybe if this is a mushroom blend, like I kind of taste like the difference. Like there's no, there's no like sourness to it. It's almost yeah. kind of very flat uh, tasting. Um, but yeah. if it does the trick, it does the trick. Yeah. It's an interesting flavor. Like, I mean, it's a normal flavor, but not a flavor you'd see in an energy drink, like a strawberry banana. That's not right. You know, it's like and a there, smoothie flavor. Yeah. Then there's like a, I forgot what the other ones were too, but they were like different uh, ones. Like lemon, normal. I think was one lemon. And then I think there was another one might've been maybe like raz, uh, dragon fruit. I think the third one was. Yeah. I figured they're um, either going to be really good or really bad. I, I was not a fan of the WWE C4s. 
just they, they taste like generic ones that you yeah i mean this FYE. kind of is, is this to me is is, is probably is is on the same par as like the, those g fuel like the chucky ones and all that stuff like uh, it's it's diff it's it's probably not as good as even that okay. but well uh, again hopefully- Hopefully it's better than the uh, Friday Thirteenth one because that one. I think it is, but this again. What's cool, regardless. I mean, these it's collectible cool can. cans. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna. You should see my attic. It's brutal. I have like a box <laughs> up in the attic with just like empty cans of like empty drinks, like anything collectible. I just throw up there and like I think uh, in like a box because I think to myself, you know, in 20 years, all of a sudden you can start showcasing like <laughs> yeah. Flare Energy from like 20 years ago and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. But are you gonna do that? That <laughs> um, sounds like a cool show in 20 I'm, years I'm, maybe <laughs> yeah like i'm prepping myself for the future here, old man you know? garrett <laughs> like i'm so addicted to like like if you guys ever watch if you guys ever check out dinosaur dracula and stuff like that like he literally mm-hmm. has all the foods of discontinued foods from like the 80s that like you just remember and he'll always post pictures of them or cereal boxes and he'll do little like pictures and i'm like man i would love to have that you know so now i figured i'll now i yeah. can be ahead of the game in like 20 years you know, and I keep, yeah, I keep seeing now. people post things that I like threw away five years ago. It's like, man, I had that for <clears> like <throat> 20 years. And I was like, you know, why do I need the Snickers wrapper? And I threw it away. <laughs> and now I was like, <laughs> and now people are like, oh, guys, do you have Shaquille O'Neal on the, on the, on the Snickers? I was like, no, I threw that away five years ago. I didn't Actually, you know what? I did keep some stuff over I here. Like I keep cans and stuff. Like I have Surge and stuff, but check this one out. I don't know if you guys remember this one at all. I think it's- we are such big collectors that we collect, we collect trash everything. Now. <laughs> yeah. We collect garbage. Yeah, was, how sick is this? Look like at this. The 90s. Diet Pepsi with Michael Jackson on it. Oh, like, yeah, that's that. awesome. Okay, well, that, that one's cool. That's sick, right? Come yeah, on. I have a uh, Alice Cooper milk jug hanging out in my room somewhere. Yeah, it's a glass milk jug. We have, like, this, like, local milk company. And he had his own, like, he had, like, like all, all these different flavors, like random flavors with his face on it for a while. Is there but... some milk in there? No. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like cottage cheese walking around with cottage cheese. Aww, yeah. <laughs> ben Grimm, uh yeah, dude. I've I know them. Uh they they're from my area. So I mean I know them like through people. Uh I've been listening to the Purple Stuff Cup podcast since the day it started. Um they're they do such a great job over there, both of them. So I mean it's it's very very cool. I, I just I just love what they're doing. I love like what he's doing. He's just been he's been at this for so long. I mean, it's a great podcast. You haven't listened to it called Purple Stuff Podcast. It's basically they they do a lot of retro talk and stuff. It's it's fantastic. Very very good. Um, Amp Energy. I was hooked on Amp Energy like the I think it was like the is that Mountain Dew sugar free one because I was such a big Mountain Dew like Diet Mountain Dew guy like when I was like in my twenties. So when Amp Energy came out, I was I was hooked on. I can't do sugar. I get it like makes me feel gross. Are those sugar free um, or sugar? These? Yeah, I don't think there's sugar in here. Uh, a lot of yeah. energy drinks don't come with sugar anymore. No, they used to. So like the Amp, I used to do the the like the Diet Amp or whatever it was called, sugar free Amp. I used to do that for a while. I was hooked on um rockstar but it, the, the flavor was was cucumber lime, lime. Was the one i, I oh, was that hooked. Sounds good it though. was so freaking good i remember for my birthday like refreshing um, yeah. it was wicked ref- refreshing yeah for my birthday i remember my cl- a client of mine at the gym came in on my birthday and had a bag with like probably 40 cans of it in there like because i always had one on me like always and they bought oh, wow. like the whole stock or whatever and i was like this is sick but they're discontinued now you cannot get that flavor anymore and it's been a bummer hmm. so i had to kind of move on to something else but yeah no. um as always you know the 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 show kind of goes off the rails and now we're talking about old this, soda and whatnot you this know? is our five favorite uh, energy drinks old soda <laughs> soda woo <laughs> All right, so we'll get this thing rocking and rolling. And dude, if you need to keep looking up some stuff, I'll give you a little bit of time. I'm thinking yeah. that I know my um, first one. Like, are we ranking these or no? I I'm going to. You don't have to, Mel. Well, I, just um, I just feel like I I'd save the best for one. last. But I I have a feeling that me and you are going to have at least one of the same. I think. I don't so think what, so. So what I'm thinking about doing is um sharing the screen like if one of you says something i'll google it and then we'll share the screen and so people can see if they've never seen it so um let me i guess i can start and we can just go kind of round robin style um my number five and again it's a great jacket i actually own the jacket um a replica jacket of it 
Um, and that is the the jacket from Drive mm-hmm. is going to be my number five. Now, I don't know if any of you two have chosen that one. We can kind of talk about it all together. Uh, but it's pretty iconic. I mean, it, it was iconic in the movie. It became an icon of itself. I mean, every time you see a poster for that movie, usually the jacket is showcased in some way. Um, it was very basic. It was, is you know, it just had one? a... It was like a silverish white color with like a scorp- a yellow scorpion on the back. And it was just kind of unique at the time because like nobody really was wearing stuff like that when that movie came out. And it was just so different and unique with the big patch on the back. And um, I ended up purchasing two of those jackets. Um, one, the silverish white one is framed um, <laughs> with the with the match with the driving gloves that he wore. The, there's a hammer in the in the frame thing that I have. So I have that all framed up in uh, down here. And then I also bought a, a variant, which is a black one with a with a gray scorpion on the back. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I've always loved that jacket. Again, it's not fancy, but it's it was just so different, and unique. I just fell in love with it when I when I saw it. So I'm gonna see if I can pull up a picture of that. If anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, but again, I'm sure they probably do. Um, let me see if I can get some images here. This is the first jacket I think of when someone says like famous jackets. I think is- of. Is the drive one? Is the drive? drive jacket, yeah. Let me see. Right. <clears throat> I haven't seen that movie all the way through yet. I don't think. Oh, it's so no, good. It, yeah, it's so good. Can you guys see this? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's showing up because I'm on the other screen. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is the, the jacket. So as you can see, this is like a big image from the movie here um, with the it's neons kind of, in the back. It's kind of like a boy band jacket. So maybe, it's that, like a maybe that's why I, maybe that's why I, yeah it's like a bomber so this is the other one that i have too it's like this this is a more of a little bit of a gray um, it's like sting sting yeah <laughs> so it's uh it's a badass jacket it really is uh is cool and it, it's it's have a life it has a life of its life of its own and it really is a standout in that movie it's just something everybody kind of remembers um but yeah it's it's super rad i don't know if people in the chat agree or disagree i mean i know this is probably not everybody's style of jacket to wear um but yeah it's like a bomber jacket basically i don't know what you would call this kind of jacket bomber jacket but like this like Mm -hmm. weird pattern on the back you see how it's kind of like got the zigzag pattern like that um it's like quilted yeah yeah exactly well also looks like i remember for a while there's like jackets that came in like a little like like they're like in a little cube and you would like unzip it and a whole jacket would come out of this thing do you think that's what this that's was, was kind of like? I don't know. I, I have a feeling no, because this was like maybe like 2018 is when they those were popular. Like, I don't know if they were supposed to be for like you're out of the park and it starts to get cold. And you're like, oh, I th- I'm glad I have my jacket in my pocket. And it's like a survival jacket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it is crazy, too, because a full jacket comes out of it. It's like I'm not putting that back together, you know, like, sitting there <laughs> cold, you know. <laughs> Well, this is kind of wild right here because when this came out, I bought this jacket from a site for probably a hundred dollars. Now I don't know if they've made a bunch of different ones since then, but this right here says sixteen dollars and ninety and forty nine cents. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a half assed version, but I, I don't know. I mean, I bought that jacket back That's... when this movie came out, so I mean, I I don't know what this is, but sixteen bucks. I mean, I don't know if it's like a Halloween costume, but it's, that's pretty cheap. Man. That's coming from Wish. Oh, is that what this guy is? That's the way. <laughs> yeah, you're you're gonna get it, and it's gonna be like a like a like a praying mantis on the back or something, or like something, or like a worm or something. A butterfly. A butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, let me see if anybody um, has has uh, said anything about the jacket. I'm way behind now, but um, let me see. Uh, Vanderhoff says, only watch a little bit of driving and, ha- and I turned it off. Well, you missed out, man, because it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Dynamite Tiger. See, look, I bought a Drive Scorpion jacket, black version immediately after I saw Drive. Um, yeah, man, that's that's the one I have, too, as well. Thank you, Tom. Kill the like button. I hey, appreciate Tom. that. Yeah, this. I remember seeing this in the theater and when and that first scene of him driving around the city with that with that Kavinsky song. I was like already so hooked to that movie. I was like, this is going to be freaking awesome. Like it's just the scenery, the, that's how I got introduced kind of to synth wave music was through that movie. The soundtrack um, yeah. Great. The Kavinsky song. Yeah. Um, thank you, dude. I don't know what this means, but maybe what's up camp. Kind of like a Sukana Suka Jean jacket. I don't know. Do you know what that is, Mel? 
Oh, Mm-mm. satin is that what he, sat? I don't know if that's what he meant, but um, <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> 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 all right <laughs> so the drive jacket is my number five so you're saying neither of you picked this one this again being mm. so iconic i don't I, I don't know if we're gonna have any of the same ones i'm i would be shocked now maybe but let's, one let's let's, let's well because okay so i kind of figured that we me and you would have a bunch of the same ones so i tried to mm-hmm. pick chick jackets oh, which is okay. not my norm i'm not i'm not a girly girl i'm not a chick jacket kind of gal but the ones that i did pick were pretty iconic for me in my childhood not necessarily iconic to the movies though mm-hmm. but, would you, but how about this would you wear this jacket uh yeah i'd wear all of these okay because that's 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 what i also made pretty a point when i made these i was like okay would these be jackets i would want to wear as well so mm-hmm. okay okay so am i going next yeah yeah Okay, so Hackers. The movie Hackers. Be careful looking this up because Angelina Jolie shows her tatas in this movie. Oh, okay. Thank you for warning me. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) It's not the the members only stream yet, so we're rated G right now. Rated R later. So you can't demo it, is that what you're saying? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Did you see my comment? chat or oh no you said something but i didn't i dude i've been so on the run i didn't even look back i'll look at it right now actually (laughs) anyway okay so while you're looking at that uh angelina jolie wears this red and white jacket in hackers and when i was younger i always thought it was like the coolest jacket so i remember buying one that was like kind of maroon though but it kind of looked the same just because i loved that jacket so much um but yeah, if you can pull that one. Is it the one with like the S on it, kind of? Yeah, it's like red and white. Okay, I found it. All right, let me pull that up there. This one, right? Yeah, that one. That is cool. It's like a yeah. motorcycle jacket. Yeah, that jacket was so killer. Yeah, I cool. loved it. I scoured the racks for one that was similar and i i found a maroon one it wasn't the same at all now that i think about it but i felt really cool wearing it well you know what mel i mean take a look it looks like you can get this pretty good now like look at all these right like here like this has got to be for sale do you want to know what's funny is when i was doing research on this i found a lot of websites that yeah just you can buy duplicate movie jackets all right, just so you guys know, Mel's birthday is in September, so <laughs> send her in. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like 45 of the same jacket. <laughs> but, yeah, the jacket's dope. It looks really cool. Yeah, no, it is. It is very cool, actually. I don't you know what's funny is I didn't even I don't even remember this at all. Like, I mean, Hackers is a movie that I've probably only seen twice in my whole life. So, oh my God, I don't, Hackers was I don't really pivotal remember. to my childhood. I loved it so Sick. much. It had nice. all the cool stuff in it rollerblading, skateboarding, killer jackets, titties. <laughs> <laughs> What's this jacket? Look at that thing. That one was kind of cool, but it was more like fancy. Oh, all right. All right. Like a shiny, satiny jacket. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Good pick. Let's see what the chat's gonna say about this. Um <laughs> let me see. Nothing. Nobody cares about Lady Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not G-rated pink ladies. You know what? I thought for a second it was a Suzuki jacket. That's what I thought because it looks like a it's got kind of the same logo. I mean, maybe that's what it was actually, but I don't know if they um can promote it like that now. But it did look like a Suzuki logo on that. Yeah, see, people like that one, Mel. Thanks. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, so Cody. So uh, my number five. This is this is a jacket I've always wanted. I've never had it. Uh, it's going to be like the Joker's Goons jacket from Batman oh, '89. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Hell yeah, dude! I love that. You that's like a bomber jacket too, with like Joker's face on it, wasn't it? Yeah, I just like when I was a kid, like I really liked Bob for some reason. Like I like I was like that guy's so cool. Well, I mean, I, he's I, he's the number one. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And then you hear the story about how he got the job. He was like 
Jack Nicholson's best friend. And he's like, Jack Nicholson's like, I'll do it if my friend does it. Like, oh, is that, was that, was that, yeah. the thing? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So they added Bob in to this little, you know. Bro, thing. you got to get this jacket, man. Wow. You can get, you can buy these. Is it $16 oh. on Wish? No. <laughs> is it on Timu? <laughs> Let me pull it up. Um, That's sick, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Look at mm -hmm. There's Bob himself get, like, right there. You can get different colors. Here's Damn, the, here's, man. That's really cool. Bob wearing it. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a statement piece for sure. Oh, yeah. That is cool. But, yeah, you, it looks like you can get all different ones. This was a little more purple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that and dance to Prince down the halls. You should. Black and white, red and green. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like that. I have also wanted the shirt or the, the cars they were driving too. Those cars were cool. I those, love like, this. The, those purple I, cars. See, I'm glad you came on, man. I, I forgot all about this jacket until you brought it up. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man. This is so cool. Yeah. That's cool, man. Dude's going to bring all the different stuff. Do you, do you remember this, this jacket, Mel? Not at all. No. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Do you were you a big fan of this movie or was it not really a thing? Uh the original Batman? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I liked that movie. Yeah. I liked was... Batman Returns better. Oh, me. that's right, you did. Because yeah. <laughs> it has Catwoman in it, that's Michelle right. Fever. Let me see. Um, see what people say. I, I actually thought it was a really good pick because I totally forgot. You are my number one. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let's like, breathe heavy or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's badass. Hell yeah, the the, the top gun jacket's killer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't know I needed that choker jacket until now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of in the same boat as you, to be quite honest with you. I saw that. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. I do. I want that. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. As we make our way back around the horn. All right. My next jacket is actually going to be Arnold's jacket from the first Terminator. Like that gray, mm -hmm. like kind of like a, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like a duster, I would say. Um, it was like a grayish. I don't know if it's like a gray blue. Um, but it was super cool because I think it had like a pattern in, inside it. Like, Oh no, that was his shirt that he wore under it. But like, yeah, such a cool get get up. I'll pull that up now. Um, it was like it was like a punk jacket, right? Yeah, it was actually it was actually a punk jacket. It wasn't as long as like a duster, but it had like a cool like um black collar, I think. Hold on, let me let me see if I can get this up here. But I always loved that jacket. I always wanted to find one kind of like that. Um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't get a great picture of it, but like look at the back. Oh yeah, it has like the studs and stuff on the back. Yeah, that's oh, you can, killer. You can, still, you can buy this, huh? Um, <laughs> Garrett's just gonna have a closet full of jackets. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, look at that. That's sick. So yeah, he stole it off the punk guy. Was it? Did he steal it off of? Um, I thought it was a. Uh, Phil, was it uh, or Bill Paxton? Wasn't it? It was Bill Paxton, wasn't it? That he stole the jacket off. Was it I really? It was. I think it was him. I know he was one of the punks, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the jacket he took. It's been so long since I watched the first one. Oh, the first one's the best. Mm -hmm. I don't know if well, everybody will agree with me on that, well, but yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, the second one is I like the first one the best now. I like the second one the best growing mm -hmm. up, but now I prefer the first one over the second one because it's like it, this is almost like a horror movie. The mm -hmm. first one is like a slasher, basically. Um, but yeah, it was such a sick outfit and like that shirt he had underneath was even cooler yeah. like that thing right there with all the different patterns yeah. and stuff on it <laughs> um let me know gang if you guys uh are a fan of this terminator jacket from part one that arnold wore let me see what people are saying no justin yet huh let's see that might kill our theory <laughs> let me see um you could pull off a purple bomber, dude. Yes, for sure. Do it. Stallone Jack from Cobra, like the long one. That one, the long jacket. That was sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was killer. What did Miss Alyssa say? I didn't see it. I'm lost. 
lost. Yeah, nobody has anything to say about the the Terminator jacket. The old gray, the old gray guy. Um, well, well, that was on my list, so. Was it really? Oh, yeah. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it, it was just always one that I really like. It had like a good fit. It was like kind of baggy a little bit there. It had the cool like chain coming down the, the, the back with the black patch. And you're right. He took it right off, right off. I'm pretty positive it was Bill Paxson that had it on in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that jacket. So that's going to come in at number four uh, on my list. Um, like I said, I don't know if Mel's ranking, but that was my four out of my five. Yeah, I put them uh, in order. The Schwarzenegger Terminator jacket. Very cool. Melski. Uh, okay, so you guys are going to be listening to me talk about a lot of movies I've already talked about before. So you're just going to have to deal with it. But Madonna in Who's That Girl wears right. this really awesome leather jacket. And there's this scene in the movie where she goes into a record store and she starts like shoving cassette tapes inside of her jacket because she's like stealing them. And then she gets back to the car and she like unzips this inside pocket and all of these cassette tapes fall out into her lap. And that was like the coolest thing. <laughs> was it the leather jacket? Yeah, the black leather jacket. With the stutters, the studs all over it. Yeah, I actually really like just her all of her outfits in this movie i think they're really cool but uh yeah this particular jacket i'm a big leather black leather jacket gal Mm -hmm. so this one was this one was good the black leather jacket with the red skirt was my all-time favorite Uh, let me see if i can find that picture i've actually never seen this movie you know what's funny is i was thinking to myself i don't know if i've seen this movie either oh it's good I always get it confused. What's the other one that she's in? Is it Desperately Se- Seeking Susan? Yeah. But okay, she's, that's she's that the I've star seen. star of that one, though. She's the star of Who's That Girl. I don't think I've seen this, then. She's in the movie uh, oh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, right? Is she in that movie, too? No, that's... With Je- Sarah uh, Jessica Sarah... Parker? No, uh-huh. she's not in it. Oh, no, she's not in that one? Okay. No. But, I, yeah, I don't think I've seen Who's That Girl. Is this got a, any kind of good release or what? Um, I have the DVD. I I don't know if it has a Blu-ray or not. Maybe it has a Blu-ray and like across the pond, but that's I funny. I don't I, know if I, we do, but it has the guy from American Werewolf in London in it. Um, I forget his name. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Norton, David Norton. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. I always kind of get this confused with that Desperately Seeking Susan. So I definitely don't think I've seen this. It, well, a lot of people say they like that one better, but I'm like, Madonna's not the star of that one. Mm. So I don't like that one as much as I like this one. This one, like, really had a big impact on me, the way I dress now. Just, like, when I was younger, she was, like, an icon to me. <laughs> well, I mean, she was, for sure. Yeah. I mean... God, uh, breathless Mahoney. I mean, what can you say? What can you say? <laughs> you know, this is she was all that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and people are talking about Desperate Seeking Susan on here. Hold on, let's see. Um. I met Arnold in the summer of '04, and he stole my clothes. Lost my vote. <laughs> yeah, man. <that's> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so he took it. Oh, so it was Paxton's buddy he took it from? So oh, the, the okay. killer in Cobra. Oh, that guy. He's... Oh, that guy. Okay, the guy with the scar on his face. Yeah, I love that guy. Um, yeah. Madonna had that one jacket. And just, I don't see. What did she had a leather jacket in that too, I believe, right? In what? Uh, Desper- Desperately, Desperately Seeking Season? Yeah, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, see, I've never seen that movie, but Madonna was an icon back then. I remember the song she did for the movie. Dark Knight likes Bane's jacket. What's up? The view with Drew. Hello. Yeah, guys, you're going to have to go back and watch the beginning. We talked about the drive jacket already. Um, 80s Madonna rocked. Yep. What's up, Eli? Oh, dude. Well, thank you for that. Animated jacket is Akira. That Akira jacket is sick. I don't know if you guys know exactly what that is. It's a red. So Akira is like a anime cartoon um, from Japan. It's, it was a it's a great movie and the, the main jacket that the kid has in it is like a red um, kind of like a leather jacket, I guess, but the back has like this pill on it. Like a, a, you've probably seen it before, but it's really, really cool. 
Really, I love at close range. Love, love, love that movie. So that's by the same director. That's cool. Is is that movie a action movie? That Madonna movie? She had a gun. So what are you talking to me? Okay, that sounds like I'm yelling at Dustin via computer. (laughs) (laughs) I may or may not have been. That's fast to typing. Get a hold of Justin. Yeah, so it's kind of an action comedy. It's just it's a really fun movie. So it's the the basic premise is Madonna goes to jail for something she didn't do, and then when she gets out, um, this lawyer guy is supposed to take her to the airport, but she insists on solving her own murder case. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so then she takes this guy along for the ride. So it's really fun. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. You should watch it. You might like yeah. it. Oh, I'm, sure I'm definitely like going to try to watch it. My dad was really wild in that movie, but she's so charming, and I love her so much in that movie. I was like, I want to be her. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be cool, running around with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you run around your yard with like a little squirt gun and like a leather coat. Right? <laughs> I just want to like beat people up and be really cool and pretty. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> um all right so we're on cody yeah so i'm gonna take the terminator jacket off of mine and i'm gonna add uh axel foley's jacket from uh beverly hills cop Ooh, mm. let's see i'm trying to think uh what he had it's like a detroit lions jacket oh yeah i do remember that now mm-hmm. Oh, that is sick, dude. All right, let's yeah. let's pull it up here. And that was ri- that was originally supposed to be Stallone in the role, then Stallone left <laughs> to make Cobra. <laughs> really? Yeah. That that's yeah, why that's why in the third one he has a Cobra poster in the in his house. All right, let's look at this thing. There you go. So it's basically like one of those. It's like a Letterman Letterman jacket. jacket yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But he wear he wears it in all three movies, and it's you know. How about those lions? Yeah, you know what that's from. <laughs> no, come on, yeah, you do. How about those lions? It's from Home Improvement. Oh, okay. Do you remember the? I don't know if I anybody get... remembers that. So, so I mean, Home Improvement. There was an episode where, um, Tim was kind of getting upset because, um, what's the middle kid's name? Uh, Randy. Randy was uh, he was starting to get too old and didn't want to give his dad a hug or a kiss anymore when he <laughs> dropped him off to school. And he's like, I'm not giving you a hug and a kiss, dad. Like, it's like, I'm too old for that. And, he just, and then he was getting upset. So he's like, well, how, I just want man, I just want you to know that I love you. And, and, and I don't want you to get embarrassed that I give you a hug and a, and a kiss on the head before you go to school. He's like, how about we'll just do this when I, I'll look at you and I'll say, how about those lions? And he's like, oh, that's fine. He's like, that's how you'll know that I mean, I love you. And he's like, all right, just don't say it like super weird. All right. He's like, <laughs> so he's like, so he's like, so you don't want me to look at you and go, how about those lions? Like, like oh. <laughs> So I always remember my brother. And I say oh. that all the time. What a great show. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Look who's in the house. Master Chaos is in here. What's up, homie? What's up, dude? <laughs> what up? He's already giving me crap. Oh, here he is. Right here. Um, Axel's coats the bomb. Uh, Super chat, basically Tyler Durden's whole wardrobe and Fight Club. Yeah, yeah, that red jacket was bomb. That is a cool. That is a cool look for sure. For sure. I guess we'll. I guess we'll have to do a, a super chat for this guy over here. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, they call me Mo because every time they give me something, I always want Mo. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Yikes. Uh, yeah, people like that one. Um I hope Beverly Kills Cop 4 is good. I don't know if it, it will be, but it looks good. It looks like it's way too good for Netflix. Does it look good? Yeah, it does look really good. Like, like it doesn't like Netflix movies look like they're missing something, and this looks like a theatrical. Like it doesn't look like it had anything to do with Netflix. So that's why it kind of sucks that's coming out. I'm not a big fan of Netflix. It, is it a straight to Netflix movie? Is that what it yeah. is? Oh. Yeah. It makes me nervous because I didn't like the other one they did. What was was that a Netflix one? What other uh, one? Coming to America sequel or whatever. It was. Oh, I think that was Amazon. I didn't. I didn't see that yet. Oh, uh, I didn't. I didn't like it. So I, that's why I was a little nervous when I heard about uh, this one. I'm like, oh, here we go. But, it was that yeah, well, like it kind of looks like it. What you say it, was, like, it was all right. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, what did uh, you expect 
for that particular movie. <laughs> Yes. You can't really go yeah. in with your standards all high and yeah. stuff. The first one was so edgy. I feel like this one was like played it way too safe. Yeah. So the new, uh, funny. the new, the new Beverly Hill Cop. It kind of looks like it's like a, it kind of looks like a Bad Boys. Do you like Bad Boys? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe you won't like it then. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Ass. He wasn't gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> no, I, I probably would have watched it to be honest with you um but yeah i didn't I, i'm not a really big bad boys guy um i know most people are though but like michael lowry um i do like martin it's funny Lawrence. what bad boys bad boys sorry sorry um coming to america was pg oh yeah oh okay that's that's gonna be why uh, Dell, what's up, man? Yeah, the Warriors vest oh. count. Those are fantastic. That's another thing I have framed here in the house is one of those Warriors vests. Um, I don't know. I always like the original, but I don't know. What do you think, Cody? Uh, probably. I don't know. Two. They're two different movies. Like one. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I i do not know. I'll t I am a big fan of the third one. I know a lot of people don't like it, but probably the first one. Hmm. Let me see. Mel, how about you? Any, any a big fan of Beverly Hills Cop? Or, mm. Nah. Okay. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Sorry, dude. All right. It's all good. We're going to go on to number three. Oh, man. Adrian. You didn't, it's, it, this wasn't my pick, but I totally forgot about it, to be honest with you. Son of a bitch. Um, my number three is going to be Johnny's jacket from The Karate Kid. The red Cobra Kai jacket um, is one of my all-time favorite jackets ever. So that's why it's my number three on my list here. Um, iconic. I mean, it was one of those jackets that I had to have. I have a replica of it. Um, still, it's not perfect. I, I feel like I need a better one. But some of the ones they have now, like I'm afraid to buy them because I'm, I don't know if it's going to be legit or if it's... I don't want to spend all the money and then have it not be that good. So this is the iconic Cobra Kai red motorcycle jacket. Um, I love it. Like for instance, like he never had a patch on the back. So I know that's like a couple of what they look like now. So, you know, it's not totally accurate. This looks pretty damn good. I think. Um, but yeah, it's something I want. I think the one I have is fine, but I, I want a better one. Um, it's kind of basic, but I think it's just, 80s were just always rocking with the red jackets mm -hmm. you know it was like it was everywhere between you know michael jackson and even eddie murphy when you watch like some of he, he always had like red leather jackets on like on his comedy skits and stuff and mm -hmm. red was a hot color back then and uh i just love it i'm sure a lot of people are probably gonna dig it too see this looks really good actually but i'm, I'm afraid what that back looks like because i don't want that big patch on there um but yeah, let me know, chat, what you guys think about that jacket. Mel, were you, I don't even know if you're a Karate Kid fan or not. Mm, not really. I mean, I... <laughs> Bad boys I saw the, the original... Kid. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I saw the original movies, and they were fine. But, Jeez. I mean, that, that wasn't my jam back in the day. It's no I mean, hackers. I was into the yeah, men. I liked the Jean Claude Van Damme man. ass kicking <laughs> movies. Did you see? Did you see? Jack did you see uh, William Zabka's physique in just one of the guys? Come on. Oh. Rip. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> can he do the splits? Uh, I don't know. He can throw dorks into the fricker bushes. I know that one. He can do splits though. Come, uh, come on now. Look at that. See, people know. They know. He said no one's as cool as Johnny. Iconic. <laughs> Come on, Dynamite. <laughs> You're killing me. Yeah, Cobra Kai is great. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit nervous for the new movie, to be honest. It, it actually... I, I actually am not excited about it at all, and I'm a huge Karate Kid fan. I just don't think they're going to be able to capture the three movies and what the show has been able to do. So unless they have something up their sleeve where they're going to try to intertwine some of that stuff, I feel like I'm a little bit nervous about it. Yeah. And they started filming it, right? 
I think I believe, but it's just it's just weird to me because I don't know where this falls into the timeline if it's going to be included in the timeline. You know what I mean? Like you got to think about it. The original movies plus Cobra Kai is all the same timeline. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to throw this movie in, does this connect somehow? And if it does, how does it connect? Yeah. You know, that's my only concern. Like, how does Daniel get involved in this whole situation? Are any of the kids from Cobra Kai in the movie? Is any, is Johnny going to be in it at all? And even if they kind of like, if Daniel travels to, I don't know, Japan or whatever, and meets up somehow with um, Jackie, what's Chan. His name? Jackie Chan's character. Now, is Jackie Chan playing the guy he was in the remake? He's supposed to be. That's what I heard. So they're going to, they're going to meet up somehow and they're going to have, they're going to train a new kid. Now is Jaden Smith going to be in this at all in a cameo? Like it's just I <laughs> just don't not. know where this fits, and I feel like if they try to ignore the show, I just think that's gonna that's gonna hurt. Yeah. A bit. So before it was announced that Jackie Chan was going to be involved, it was going to be uh, about like this uh, like this pizza own- like this guy who owns like a pizza shop or something who's being picked on by like. I don't, I don't know who's being picked on, but this kid trains him. So it's like a reverse karate kid. That's what it was supposed to be before they made these announcements. I don't know if it's still going to be the same thing or not, but I can't see somebody training Jackie Chan or someone training, you know, uh, uh, Dave Crusoe. It's Dave Crusoe. It's Danny Crusoe. Who's playing the kid. I don't even know who's playing yeah. the kid. Yeah, well, I don't know. But yeah, I don't, uh, I don't even know if there is a kid, but I'm sure there is. So I think they hired a kid. Chris oh, said, they did, didn't they? I think they, but I have no idea who he is. He said they, they they said they are going to make everything in one year. I mean, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, they, I feel like it needs to be for it to be taken seriously because the show's so hot that I feel like they have to incorporate it somewhere. Yeah. And well, that's the thing too. Like Will Smith owns the rights to the Karate Kid, so that's he probably wants to keep that that around just in case his son wants to get into it maybe yeah i hope i mean i i don't i wouldn't mind seeing a jaden smith cameo i I actually wouldn't even mind to see a jaden smith cameo in the cobra Cobra kai Kai show somewhere i mean again it's not that hard to keep it part to keep the remake part of the Mm -hmm. the the trilogy of franchise it really isn't that hard because it's totally a different story you can kind of intertwine them especially if you're going to do that with jackie chan so um i guess i'll show this melissa even though i really just want to ignore it but (laughs) i really wanted to ignore that (laughs) yeah it says our love of the credit must be a dude thing my sister and me love the last dragon too i like the last dragon too um what joshua jackson no he is pacey it's gonna like intertwine with like dawson's creek or something (laughs) He's me wearing a mighty death jersey. Like something to watch. <laughs> oh my god! All right, where are we now? Is that just me? Okay, Mel, you're number three. Oh, um, okay. So Tank Girl. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I pretty much like her entire wardrobe in this <clears throat> movie. Um, Tank Girl reminds me of you. Like, I feel like that's like how you like you would be Tank Girl in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I totally would do. Now, which jacket are you talking about? This jean one? Yeah. So she has like mm. a green and black one with patches on it. Okay, I found it. I think is it that one? Yeah. Is it green? I don't remember. But... It looks like a jean jacket with black underneath, like a black sleeves or something. Yeah, it has like black sleeves and has patches all over it. Love this one. Yeah, um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I really, really, really wanted to cut my hair, <laughs> hair like that? hers. <laughs> You so you wanted to be tank girl. I'm glad that I didn't because it's literally like shaved everywhere, and she just has this like yeah. weird little ring of hair going all the way around. <laughs> it literally goes all the way around. So, that would bother me. I feel like you get like stuck in a door or something, and just, like <laughs> or stuck in the window. Uh, but yeah, you guys know I geek out on the the tank girl comics and all the things. Yeah, she just has like this really badass wardrobe. I love. I love pretty much everything that she wears in this movie. Look at that. Yeah, so dope. Did you end up buying that new set or no? Uh I I don't think I did because it it's Blu-ray. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, I didn't get it either. I have the Screen Factory one or whatever, so I didn't end up buying it. I was on the fence about it, but man, it's hard to justify that. Dude, my Mario set's been a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. You still not you have haven't it? gotten it yet? No, dude. And you know what? I, I don't want to. I still have mine boxed up somewhere. <laughs> I know because we were supposed to do a huge stream with it, but like umbrella honestly is like they're being cooperative but they're not at the same time and it's really freaking annoying mm -hmm. so basically my package has been stuck in memphis for over a month that's crazy at a facility right and it doesn't it hasn't moved and you you know the post office told me to contact umbrella i contacted them they talked to their team uh their their postal service their postal service told them to tell me that i have to call my postal service again and tell them to open an investigation and try to find out what's going on. And I like wrote back and I was like, I appreciate it. But like why I paid for this item. Yeah. And why am I doing all this detective work? I shouldn't be up to me. I said, you can't just send yeah. me a new one. They said, well, we can, but we want to make sure that we want to find out what's going on with this one. First. I said, if I get this one, I'll send it back. Like just send me a new one. And they were like, well, let us tell us what the UPS says when you open an investigation. I'm like, so like, this is going on. Like, two months luckily they said they have an extra one that they can send me but it's like i it they haven't even shipped it again yet so yeah it's just like it's it's just a bummer dude and well, that's never happened to me so yeah and it's not cheap so like even if you did get the, the two of them you should be able to keep it like when i got my uh my child's play box set of the four through seven and i had like two uh slip covers that were smashed uh you know screen factory didn't do anything about it but that uh their shipping company sent me a whole brand new uh, bundle so i i got a whole bundle for free i mean i understand yeah. that it's an expensive set and they probably don't want to do that but at the same time it's like it this isn't this has nothing to do with me i paid for the item mm -hmm. you can see that it's been dormant for over a month that thing ain't moving it, like, and if fell, it does it, like when is it gonna move it, it's like it like fell off the like it's fell off someone's like seats like in there someone's back backyard or back or back seriously seat. like it's fell getting <laughs> Like or, if something's been at a, at the same facility for over a month, there's obviously it's 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 somewhere that it shouldn't be, you know. It's just I don't know. So now it's like I have to call the post office and have an open investigation on this thing, and then send them what they say, and then they're gonna ship me a new one. So I don't know. I my last email basically was like I don't understand why I'm the one doing all the work here. Yeah. When it's like all I and I paid for this thing to get shipped to me. So, I mean, they're being cooperative because they are going to send me a new one. They have an extras, but it's just the point that it's like, it's still, by the time I get this, it's going to be May because it's still coming from Australia. So that's the only issue that I have is it's like, I feel more bad because we were supposed to do a big super show and you guys are all waiting for me. It's been like two months, you know, which is, I, I feel terrible, but I don't know. That's just a little rant, I guess on that, but yeah, man, that um, sucks. It's just a bummer. I've actually really never had this issue before, so that, that kind of is annoying. Um, but let me go back to the chat on Tank Girl. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I know. We're well. Well, as soon as this is done, we'll go on. It's not gonna. It's not gonna go off until we get there. I I, I can control it from my end. So after this show, we're gonna go to our members only. We're gonna do an after hours show. Um, let me see. See, Joey says Karate Kid is one of his all yeah, me too. One of my all-time favorite movies. Um Dynamite loves the steampunk tank girl jacket. Mel is tank girl. <laughs> Lorraine Addicts had never seen Tank Girl. Um, I've only seen it twice. Oh, really? I saw it, I saw oh. it in the theater and I and I saw it on this Blu-ray that I or that I got. I used to have it recorded on like a VHS with barbed wire, and I don't know why I had like I would like that, that. That. that would be like a like a, a double feature I would do was that in barbed wire altogether. Barbed wire, classic. Yeah, Mad Max, the badass chick, dude. Seriously, somebody. Who is enjoying your Mario. I mean, seriously, I mean, they, they could be, maybe they took it out and they just left the box like in a facility somewhere. So it's like just sitting there on in like someone's desk, like just a flat box. Cause the contents are at someone's house now. Oh yeah. man. Let me see. I know time is slipping away. I know, man. I just, 
it's crazy. Justin's gonna be sitting in that show solo. <laughs> no, it's just like a solo members only. <laughs> I still haven't. Have you still heard? Have you heard from him? I haven't yet. You're on mute, Mel. Next Rad Pack show, we should uh, just not show up and leave Justin. <laughs> <laughs> well, we show up in the back, and as soon as it goes live, we bounce out. Uh -huh. It is just him. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, he still has this. I, like, a part of me is nervous because, like, he hasn't said anything all day. He said he was active 25 minutes ago. Which was, like, showtime, basically, so. Or 32 minutes ago now. He's killing me. Killing me. <laughs> he's probably like scared now. Good. He's yeah. done this Good. again. He, he probably turned on, so I was on his like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, he's either one, like, oh, cool, I'm off the hook. They replaced me. Or two, he's like, I'm not going on there because they're going to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's going to be afraid to face me, I think. I think that's going to <laughs> I would. This is no call, no show. <laughs> yeah. I send him like a pip, like a performance plan or whatever. <laughs> 90 days. Please do. I will. I'll have like different things he has to work on and stuff. Well, we're already making fun of him, telling him we're going to replace him and then saying we have replacements in line. And <laughs> I am going to write him up. He's written up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god will you please send him like a like a formal write-up <laughs> i will i will i promise <laughs> first All strike right. you get two more i think he's already had a couple already this is a little <laughs> let those fly i guess i mean you know when we had like the biggest show of our of the year and then it was like <laughs> remember that whole <laughs> <the bottle. laughs> He was we're like an hour late. Yeah. Is that right? Because he thought it, it was took us like two weeks to prep for, and then everybody's like guests, and now everybody's waiting an hour for their turn to come on. It was a nightmare. Um, a letter of expectation. <laughs> what strike is he on? Uh, if we start now, one, but technically probably like six. It's, yeah. Um, it's three for sure. <laughs> 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 like like can you please pee in a cup and send it to me please we can't do oh my God. yeah send it to garrett <laughs> he just sends you his pee in the, in the cup <laughs> oh my god i hope he doesn't watch this that's what you're getting uh, for christmas <laughs> <laughs> no his sister's gonna message me like why does justin want me to pee in this cup for him to send you <laughs> what he's doing <laughs> Oh That's my god. Amazing. Oh, all right. <laughs> Cody, what's your number three, brother? So I'm gonna go with Ferris Bueller's jacket. Ooh. When he's out and out and about. Ferris. I always thought that was a cool jacket. Then I've always wanted to sing uh Twist and Shout. In <laughs> <laughs> Now's your chance. I know. He said he would only <laughs> sing that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only in front of a huge crowd. <laughs> He said only, he would only if everyone can see me. Yeah, he said he'd only do it in public if he had the jacket on. So that unfortunately he can't do it yet. That you know, reminds me, cool. dude. I once did a I once did a stand up routine, and the the, the lights were so bright, and like I kind of found out where I was. I was doing this whole set to an empty table. I was like, oh, but I couldn't see the audience because the lights were on my face. So I was like, well, that's super <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Wait. Wait, so wait, you, you did co comedy too? Was this all new? I've never heard this story before. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I've done stand up before. And I was wow. doing a one, at, I was doing a show at Stand Up Live, and they have like bright lights. And uh, I was at one side, I like to walk around the whole stage when I perform. And when I was, perform, yeah. <laughs> well, I was talking to one side of the stage, and I, I could have sworn there was a whole table there. And then, like, I, I kind of like looked and I was like look walking away and I was like, there's nobody at that table. So I was like sitting there talking. <laughs> so, I, so I'm sure everybody in the back goes, like, this is the guy talking to. <laughs> and you somebody yells, give him a drug test. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Would you wear the vest, Cody, too? Would that be included in that? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, you got to. I would if yeah, if I wanted to be like him. Yeah. Bueller. Cody. Drive around in Cameron's car. Andrew Dice clay jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cody needs that test too. Yeah. <laughs> During his performance. Yeah. Let me see. 
So definitely a good pick. Like I said, off the cuff, Cody. Killing it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right. We'll make sure to get to our, our show. So number two is one that I've talked about so many times. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find it. Let me see. Um, and it's one that I've tried to find forever. And I found like things that kind of looked like it. Um, and that is the Corey Haim long duster jacket in the Lost Boys that he wore to the comic book shop. This thing is super rad. Um, and it's my number two pick. If you guys remember this thing, it's hard to, I guess, see, but um, do you remember that when he went to the comic store and he had that long coat? Mm-hmm. I always thought that was a robe. I it, swear. I mean, that's like... the thing. It's kind of like a, the material is light like that, right? Yeah. So, I always thought he was wearing like his bathroom. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I want that. I've been searching high and low for it. I have some things that are like very similar now because I've been searching for years and years on end for this thing. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this thing is because it's light. It almost looks like a blazer material, but like it goes all the way to the floor pretty much. Mm, it was definitely an interesting, interesting piece. Oh, I loved it. Since the first time I saw it, when I saw him walking around that comic store with his hands in his pockets, with that with the thing flowing like that, I was like, dude, I need that. And I've been honestly was looking for that jacket probably for easily over 20 years. Because even my friend Mike and I used to want to wear it to the clubs, but I could not find the damn thing. So uh, so I have a lot of like half-assed versions of that. Like I'm like, oh, this is close enough, but it's gray. Or this is close enough, but it's a little too thick. But um, yeah, man, I freaking love this thing. Um, I don't even know what you'd call it. I guess it, is it kind of a duster? Like what, is, what would you call this thing? A bathrobe, Mel? I, I mean, I'd call it a robe. Maybe not a bathrobe, but like a robe. A robe. <laughs> <laughs> like were, ro- were robes wearable? Is that was that the style then? I don't know. Cause did it did it have um like a belt kind of thing? It didn't have a belt. I right? don't, I don't think, think it did. did. No, it had pockets. Um, but yeah, so maybe not a robe. Super cool. Um, yeah. super super cool. I freaking love it. That's why it's like number two. That's why it beat out Johnny's jacket. I mean, this thing is just something I've been after for so so long. Um, Tiana, what's up, kid? A little super chat action. What's up, dude? I like the pink lady jacket. Then my favorite jacket for sure. The pink ladies. Yeah, hell yeah. Very very cool. Yeah, see that Corey Haim duster is so 1987. Mm-hmm. Love it. All right, let's give uh, let's give Tiana a little uh, a little super chat. Since we're talking about Hain, let's let's do Hain. Okay. What a good dancer, dude. <laughs> yeah. Badly. Unfortunately. It's no duster, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, like I'm I'm still trying to figure out this whole duster thing. Like to me, a duster <laughs> <laughs> jacket that was really long to the ground like that's always it like i didn't know if it had to be a specific material um but when yeah, i googled I'm... it there were like duster cardigans too and i was like what is is that just because it's long i thought duster just meant a long jacket like like it um, dusts the ground when you walk yeah, yeah. like, like google a... described it as longer than a trench coat so he so. said, Hames coat counts. We could have Prince's trench coat for Purple oh, Rain. Maybe, yeah. oh. maybe that's coming up. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I always thought duster was kind of another slang word for trench coat, like just a different, but um, I, I guess not. Um, you said duster is supposed to be longer than it. Yeah. I, well, Google says dusters are longer than trench coats. Hmm. Um, so very interesting. So that's my number two, and that is the Corey Haim light robe style duster from the lost boys it's just everything it's all the categories it's so the thing is so badass like he just looked so comfortable he looked so cool you know just mm-hmm. he had the collar knocked out one oh, point yeah, in the movie going. and then they called him a fashion victim that's not nice. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> well he was wearing like a weird patterned shirt underneath yeah. the thing was it was he? actually one scene in the movie that I swear he was wearing like nurse scrubs as like a shirt. 
<laughs> like for real. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Was that the kitchen scene? Where yeah. Was yeah, it's like, <laughs> yes, exactly. And the sleeves were like way up here. And it was like the material. I'm like, he's seriously wearing like a, like a woman's like. And it nurse. really did now that you say that. Yeah, I want to wear those. Thanks for ruining that part. For if me. anybody can find an 80s cool like scrub shirt. <laughs> It's going to have a cool pattern on it. <laughs> I want to see if I can find that shirt really quick. Let's see. Oh, wait, this is Corey awful. Please Ham, don't order it. Lost Boys. <laughs> kitchen. You know what they were probably trying to do was probably trying to like create cool fashion or iconic looks because they thought the sh- or you know, they're like, you know, they wanted like kids to dress like that. Have kids. Yeah. I mean, they did kind of do that with several people in that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. Let me see. I actually had scrubs when I was a little kid. I don't, I, they were like my pajamas for a while. I had a pair of scrubs pants too, but I think I got them from my friend's older sister and I just started wearing them as pajamas. Huh. Sick, dude. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know what that shirt is. It's like, it's like people like holding hands. I don't even know. Uh, hey, I have that t shirt. <laughs> you have that? It looks like he made it himself. The other t shirt with the black sleeves. Also, do I. I have that too. Weird. Not anymore. Wait, do you have mine? Did I give you one? <laughs> I did. I think I. Wait a minute. Did I have? T- I must have had two then. I don't know. I... I have one. You sent me one. Oh yeah, I have. I think I have one with white sleeves still. How the hell did I get two of those? <laughs> <laughs> Probably one to wear and one to just hang up. Yeah, you were gonna frame one and then wear one. Remember? I forgot. I kind of remember that I did that now, but I'm trying to think how I had two: black sleeve and a white sleeve. You never wear that, Sharma. You gotta wear that. <laughs> I think sick. It's dude. kind Look of a it. weird material. Though. It is. It's cool. It's it's like is soft. It? You can just cut okay. the black sleeves off. Look at. Just cut the I can put it into a tank. I do it to most of my shirts. Look, this girl likes it. See. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm gonna look like wearing this. Yeah, <laughs> oh, look at she cut the sleeves off too. Look, yeah. ah, okay, maybe I'll do that. There you go, that looks rad as hell. It kind of looks like Garrett on the shirt. I know. Right? <laughs> what? Why do you think I wanted to wear it? <laughs> secretly why I wanted to wear it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I want to see if you wear it on a stream and like oh on your God. own show or something in a video and someone asks that question. <laughs> Was that Garrett on your shirt? That'd be like the best compliment ever. Right? I'll be like, yeah, I, I have I'll, a special I'll post on it. Hell yeah, it was. I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> what is this now? Ben says, reminds me of that. I watched a jacket based slasher called Deerskin where a guy buys a deerskin jacket and loves it so much he kills other in the jacket to burn them what is this called deerskin? this is sounds a like a justin jacket see this is what i'm kind of sad about because i figured justin would have all these weird fleshy jackets or something yeah. well, the problem that makes me nervous is that like even if he thought the stream was an hour later that means he would have already been on now yeah, We're yeah. nine in maybe he couldn't come up with a list and he's like i'm turning my phone off. i I feel like he's he's passed out somewhere. I can almost guarantee you he saw that he was late and got skirt and then turned off all of his social media <laughs> and his phone. I bet you. You know, you want to really get to him? Text message Christian and say, come look at the Rad Pack show really quick. <laughs> and if Christian sees him not here, he's going to bust his balls. So long. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you message him though. I'm not messaging him. Though. Oh my god. <laughs> Last time I talked to Justin was 3 10 a.m. this morning. What? <laughs> yeah, that was the last time I talked to Justin was three o'clock this morning. Well, it was three, three... o'clock my it was oh, three... it was... I was yeah. so, so it was three o'clock my time, so it was probably six a.m. Six, six his time. So he's probably getting up. I was going to bed. Going to work, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, scrub pants were good. Well, Whatever. like I said, he was active like 46 minutes ago. So he's alive, which is good. See, unless so, do unless somebody has his phone pretending to be him. Well, I called him and his phone was like off. off. No longer it wasn't off. like uh, off. It was like off. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I didn't pay the bill off. Isn't that what it sounded like? <laughs> <laughs> 
it yeah, wasn't so this, like a voicemail. This number, was... this number is no longer in service. It's... Oh, yeah, wow. something like that. I was like, <laughs> imagine like that's what happened. That's why he's not on. He had a choice. Like, phone just shut, shut down because he hasn't paid it in like three months. <laughs> he had a choice. He could he could either pay his bill or buy the Megan doll. Wait, he that chose is the how Megan he doll. streams. He streams via his phone. Oh, maybe that's, so maybe that's what's up. But you said he's on though. It said he was active 46 minutes ago. Okay, so I noticed. So my friend, he doesn't pay his, his cell phone a lot, but he's still on social media. So I think you can still use Wi Fi, just not the phone. Like you can't talk on the phone. Like, oh, so you just you can't use data. But if you have yeah. Wi Fi, you can still use yeah. it for social media. Okay. Yeah, because because my friend, he'll be on. Yeah, he'll be like on some something, and I'm like, how the hell are you using your phone if you didn't pay your bill? He's like, oh, I can oh, still use the see, phone. Yeah, I was trying to give him an out, but no. Nope. I could be wrong. Though. Nope, dude says he's still in trouble. <laughs> this was this was this was a long time ago. This is like six months ago. So <laughs> AT and T could have changed their changed their ways. <laughs> nope, Justin's still grounded. Jesus, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> he'd rather cancel his phone than show up late. <laughs> That's probably what he did. He was late and he's like, oh my God, probably called me. He's, hey, you turn my phone off for 24 hours. Right. That's they told, me, they told me if I was late next right. time, they were in trouble. Can you shut yeah. the phone? We're going to have Garrett going around. Have you seen this boy? And he has like a <laughs> polar. <laughs> Dude, that's what we should do. Can we make Justin wanted posters? Like missing posters and stuff. <laughs> how, fa how fast can you whip one of those up for Instagram after this? That's be like a drawing of him. All right, somebody out there that's skilled, <laughs> DM me a picture of Justin that that looks like a wanted poster. That looks like a wanted poster. Or a the missing best, poster. The best missing, looking missing. one that shows up in my IG wins. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I had a shirt with your face on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just started sending that shirt to like everybody I know. <laughs> I hope he shows up for that show too. I, I I don't think so. I mean, he hasn't. I'm looking at our chats right now. He's he hasn't even looked like he's answered anything all day, which is interesting. Um, oops. Yeah. Is is Panic Fest still going on? Oh, that son of a bitch! It is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, is that what's happening? <laughs> it's like, oh, I forgot this was the same day I went to go see Blair Witch. <laughs> it could be, but I mean, that said could it. be what's happening. Maybe well, that's we've... what he's doing. He's sitting in a movie and he turned his phone up. Look <sighs> at us coming up with all of these theories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melissa said the last night was yesterday. What? Uh, oh, okay. So he's panic first. Oh, okay. I was like, I, why can I, I not comprehend that sentence? Yeah. No, last night last was yesterday. Was actually. Nope, Justin's yeah. still in trouble. Every excuse we try and give him, he's still he's in trouble. A, he's Good still man. there. Oh, yeah. So you guys were there. Oh, yeah. How was it? She said she, they saw Justin last weekend. Oh, cool. Let's see. Was he Look behaving? I'm paying good money to see <laughs> Justin in that members only fashion show. Look at that. <laughs> wow. See, right when we think that we're going to, that more people are going to want to be part of it now, it's like they're on out. Well, if you want to be, if you want to, if you want to check out the fashion show, become a member. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right. Where are we at now? We're at Mel for her number two. Mel for her number two. Okay. So this one is my last one that is like obvious. My first one, my number one is not going to be obvious. I promise. Uh, this one is going to be uber obvious and it's painful for me. Um, Corey Feldman in the burbs. Has that black what? studded leather jacket. Oh, yeah. It's so dope. And I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, G, that's the same jacket from Dream a Little Dream. Yeah, well, that. So, um, yes, but I don't know if if Staunch was in here because he's he's really big on the Hames and film and stuff. That jacket is one of theirs and they used to share it. So, like. If you notice, there's another, there's actually a video out of Corey Haim with that jacket on. So it was somebody's jacket and they used to kind of pass it back and forth, I guess. Well, I'm pretty That's sure Feldman good. filmed a Dream a Little Dream before this and he was kind of using like the same style and persona from that movie and this and Dante loved it. So I think it's it is a cool jacket. jacket. It's so mm. sick. All the studs and spikes and stuff on the shoulders. 
Yeah, let me see if I can find. Um, do you remember? Oh, it was Corey Haim, me, myself, and I was the was the. He did like this like VHS tape, which is really really cool. Which is about him, like all about him and him trying to make more of a comeback. Like this is, I think, right after he got in trouble for like drugs, like the first time. Mm-hmm. Have you seen this thing? It's on YouTube. You can watch the whole thing. That's where I got the dance from. Huh. Yeah. So there's one scene where he's got that jacket on in the in the sh- in the movie um let's see look at this one sick dude yeah <laughs> that looked like you too garrett <laughs> sick. oh good these are all over there looking in the mirror I'll I'll take take it. It. <laughs> what if it, what if it was a picture of garrett's like how'd that get online garrett? <laughs> <laughs> he's over there taking pictures of himself yeah. and dropping them it. online i love it where is the jacket let me see um Tell me, there's a scene in that in that where he's got that jacket. I thought on. Maybe it's a different one. No, maybe that's not the same one. Oh yeah, no. I don't know, but I thought there was. I thought there was something with that jacket. Look, he's good. This is me. Look. Oh my god. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> there's Garrett's persona right there. there it is. That's where I got wondering. the. That's where I got the gimmick right here. This picture killing it <laughs> look see <laughs> he knows dude oh my god he stop knows. he knows what's up what the hell am i doing he works outside of apocrine and fitch that guy <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> he's not in the back folding <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. he's definitely not in the back oh my god all right so uh the burbs feldman leather jacket with the studs it was a sick. must so sick yeah um he behaved himself at Panic Fest, LOL, which means he didn't. So, <laughs> <laughs> although Ryan Gosling's jacket and Blade Runner 2049 is pretty awesome, there were some a lot of cool jackets in that movie. And you know what else is a movie? It's funny because I actually enjoyed this remake, and I know a lot of people probably hate it, but for some weird reason, I enjoyed it. And I thought there was a cool jacket, and that was um, Total Recall with Colin Farrell. I don't know if you guys ever saw that one. I I, I, I normally wouldn't like that because it it's a remake of a great Arnold movie that I absolutely love. But I thought it was actually a pretty decent movie um, in general. And he, and he always had a kind of a cool jacket in that movie, I thought, as well. Hmm. What's up, Steve? Hello. Yeah, he does. He does belong outside for sure. <laughs> All right, dude, man, what do you got for your number two? So this one isn't too crazy, but I I always think of it. Uh, it's going to be Raphael's jacket in uh, Ninja Turtles when he goes to see Critters. <laughs> the trench coat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's would amazing. You get that, would you get the hat too? I would. Yes, I. You know, I've looked it up. I'm not going to lie. That legit um, looks like an outfit you would sport. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd wear it. And people, are like, oh, there's the there's the village, uh, the village uh, Vigit- flasher. Oh. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like the flasher. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they probably like think I'm the a, gremlin. Yeah, they already think I'm the village idiot. So no, no. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. No. <laughs> you have to wear the red band or headband will, around yeah. the eyes too. I have, I have one. Look, he's going. Do he's you? just out of. Uh, He's got out of seeing critters. Look at him. Yeah. Ah, Looks like some kind of toidle in a trench coat. Yeah. It's like, where do they come up with this stuff? (laughs) Look at him. (laughs) That's easy enough. You can find a nice brown trench somewhere, I'm sure. That's our childhood right here. I'm actually looking into getting a head like that, too. Like like, like a mask or like surgery? Which one are we doing? (laughs) (laughs) No, like like, like a real head that you put on. Be the first person to turn themselves into an animal. You go to the doctor, you're like, How do you make me look like this? You guys are, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to squish the head down a little bit. We'll green, oh, we'll shave the beard off. <sighs> Let's go. But yeah, that would be so sick. Uh, if you if you were able to get the head and do the whole gimmick, mm-hmm. that'd be rad. I love it. Basically, Dr. Lewis, <laughs> yeah, like surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Jose Canseco bat? Tell me. Yeah. I didn't pay money for this. That's so good. I freaking love, 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 love that movie. 
Mm-hmm. Same here. Yeah, uh, Durant Cinema has a Michelangelo head. Yeah, and I, remember I, I did a show with him, and I kept staring at it in the back. <laughs> and I want that Raphael one. I'm sure you could find one on Etsy. No question, you have to. Be, yeah, I'm thinking they do. So I can. Uh, I, I I know like where he bought one. He sent me the link. It's just I haven't pulled the trigger on it. There's. Mm. I keep. I mean, I'm assuming they're probably items I don't <laughs> that I don't couple, need. They're gonna be a couple hundred bucks, right? Like. Yeah, it was like three hundred or so. And now I want what. You see that mat, not that mask, but that Joker thing. Now that's on my radar. I want to save up for what the jacket. No, oh, the he- oh, that the, head, that head, man, dude, that is insane. It was four hundred dollars, yeah. and I was like, oh my god. So I'll I'll buy it in five years. I mean, <laughs> can't I mean, wait I to see it. Not, I guess that's a. It's not that bad of a price because no, i mean i'm not i mean I've it's not a bad bust. price but 400 bucks is, you know but, it is i mean i almost bought a bust um you almost bought a bus, night or a a bust bust from fright night but it was a thousand bucks and i was like Dang. but i didn't but this guy that did it also did a jason patrick one and i probably mm-hmm. would spend a thousand bucks on it yeah um but it's been it's been long sold out so i can't get it now but um I'm trying to think if i can find them let me see uh what the hell is his name Jason Patrick Michael Bust. You can, this thing is unbelievable. Oh wow. Let me see if I can find better look pictures. Look at that slimer in the back. You like that? <laughs> yeah, look at that. How sick that is. Mm-hmm. That's horrible. Yeah, this this is the one. Um you wouldn't like that, Mel? No, that's horrifying. You want like Michael in the room like this? Yeah. You, Maybe the sunglasses with, one. It comes with the, the sunglasses. sunglasses. Yeah, you could take the sunglasses off. No, that's wow. terrifying. <laughs> what see, if the eyes glow? Let's watch. It. What are we doing? Can you? Oh, you can't see. That? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta like scroll down or something. Uh, how do I do? Can you see it now? Oh, yeah. Dang. I'd pay a thousand bucks for that. But it does come with the sunglasses. I don't know if they're gonna show it. Though. I don't know. Imagine walking into a dark room with that thing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he, oh, he does have fangs. I was wondering, I was like, why does he have his mouth open like that? Because it didn't yeah. look like he had fangs. I mean, there's a there's a part in the movie looks yeah. up at the light and he's like turning into a vampire for the first time. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Super yeah, cool, man. I mean, it's, that looks really it's yeah, that, cool, that, that, but that's cool. I don't have any busts, and I always said, like, you know, that would be the one that I would want. I would take um, a David one. You take a David. This, I think there's some good David ones out there. Um, but yeah, that was always a big one. He, I know the guy has done, he's done like um, a couple from Fright Night that are unbelievable too, but I think they're like a thousand a piece, but they sell out very quick. Oh God! You see it? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I got a big promotion. I used to get coffee, and now I'm on the show. <laughs> Started from the bottom. Now he's here. <laughs> Mel was all about her mushroom coffee. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> Garrett and his energy drinks. And... Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good, and it's good for you. <laughs> Remember when Justin used to make you go to his dealer all the time? That was where you were getting a little <laughs> You were like, I don't know about this thing. I guess I'll do it. I'll guess I'll do it. That's, that's why, why I, that's why dude has the trench coat. Yeah, I was yeah, that's why I want the ninja turtle head. So, <laughs> so they know I'm serious. They're not gonna pick on me then. <laughs> you show up with the ninja turtle head in the trench coat and you just put your hand out. A baseball bat. They call Justin. They're like, "Well, are you coming?" Like, no, 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 just look for some kind of turtle in a trench. <laughs> like, what do you mean? They're like, you'll know. <laughs> turtle, oh turtle, god. turtle. Oh my god, I love it. What post does dude have on his toilet? It's got to be Dangerous Minds, right? It's dangerous Minds. <laughs> <On> his toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he wouldn't, want, he wouldn't want the bust either. I do need this. You find me that dynamite. It is cool, man. How Mel, it, you have, it's you, definitely worth more than a grand now. It's, so many it's worth trains, more than dude. a grand so now <laughs> because of dawn. Yeah. I would think like one, maybe an hour, but you like live next to a, a train station. Like they're like I feel like you look out your window and they're go like you see like mommy, daddy, and they're like leaving like 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 back in old days. <laughs> we are never <laughs> short of trains. This this is true. It's like one time of night. It's just like a thousand go by. It's I don't. I don't I, know how you do it. I just like picture Chris for Lloyd come, all night come long. Out. Like, how do you? How do you not wake up? Actually, yeah, maybe that is the problem. To be quite honest, with you. I do wake up. You know <laughs> this. Yeah. So that is the problem. That is the problem. It's those freaking trains. <laughs> well, it's like right. I feel like eventually they stop, and some of them aren't bad. Some of them, like if it's late enough, I, they're supposed to blow their horns at every cross section but some of them won't but then some of them are just straight dicks and they blow it all through town at like four o'clock in the morning Dang. yeah this is wild what was i just watching with the train oh uh roadhouse <laughs> oh the new roadhouse is there a train scene i forget yeah like he's like gonna kill himself remember no. He like stops himself on on the train track, and then like last minute he's like, "Oh wait, no, I want to live." Oh yeah, blows his car up anyway. Yeah. I did find not... entertainment value in that. With Have the you not seen CGI. Dangerous Minds, Mike? It's great. <laughs> That's a good movie. Oh, wow. That has Ian a killer Lund leather I... jacket in it too. Right? Yeah, it does. Michelle yeah. Pfeiffer mm -hmm. and the one guy from uh, from Hackers is in it. <laughs> Are you serious? A leaked image of the alien popcorn bucket is a xenomorph head. No. They are killing That's me with sick. these, to be quite honest with you. I missed the Slimer bucket, and so I'm really nice. sad. So if anybody has an extra one. Send Mel Slimer bucket and Slimer the Suzuki bucket. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting hooked up tonight. You better do a full stream of all the stuff they get. <laughs> oh my you got God. three things. You got my face on a t-shirt, a Suzuki jacket, and a Slimer bucket. Tell me. <laughs> well, I've already got one of those. One down, two to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, I love that too. So I want I. that jacket. I want the mm. I want the hat that says cool on it. Is that what it said on it? He had a mm. he had a cool hat. I think it said cool on it. I just want to ride around on a motorcycle that cool and just be like, drop that zero and go with the hero. <laughs> <laughs> War to your mother. And just have like the girl, you know. Just, you yeah. <laughs> and just have the girl leave the guys. Oh, you're so cool. He had the coolest hair man ever. <laughs> he really did. Um. All right, who we at? We at dudes number two, or did he just go? I just did Raphael, and then we went on right, the big so we're, we're at our number one. We're an hour and twenty nine minutes in, so we've got to we've got to end it very very soon. Mm -hmm. Um, my number one. I I'm shocked if this is not Mel's pick. It's not. Mine is so random. Wow. All right. Well, my number one definitely has to be Alex Winter's jacket in Lost Boys. 100%. Yeah, I purposefully uh, tried not to go Lost Boys because I figured you would oh go God, Lost yeah. Boys. Um, Slimer holding the popcorn bucket, PCHH. That's the one. So, yeah, this is this is my all-time favorite uh, movie jacket. And I'll try to pull it up now. Um, it's so freaking good. Let's see. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. I mean, you guys have to know the jacket. Mm -hmm. I was getting someone was going to make me this, and then shit kind of hit the fan with um, his time. So it doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon, which is a bummer. Um, but he was working on it for me, and then he got signed by AEW. So therefore, it's not looking like it's going to happen anytime soon. So, but. Yeah. That's yeah, that jacket's sick. I mean, and to be able to create this jacket is is craziness because it's all tapestry and you have to literally find all the those tapestries like you can find them. Look at the Warriors thing on there. Um online, but they're expensive and you and you really got to look for a long time to find the exact pieces. 
So it it takes a lot of work to find all that stuff, more or less, and then put it all together. But um, yeah, man, I would I would love to get something like this, even if it's a replica, like. You know, it doesn't have to match it perfect, but just the idea. It's basically a denim jacket with all those tapestries all over it. It's the best. It is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the jackets in that movie are oh, pretty yeah. bomb. All, Star even all... had a pretty killer jacket, too. Yeah, agree. Um, so CHA said that, there's a, that there was a ton at his Cinemark. Maybe he can get Oh, yeah, if you can give me one. <gasps> I owe you. I'm trying to remember if someone... Yeah, Corey Feldman was. That's what we talked about earlier. What's up, Dave? Thanks for popping in, dude. Hello. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess this is the kind of lame picture I wanted that brown leather jacket that Jack Slater wore in Last Section Hero. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, Yeah. yeah. It's like I mean, the as brown lame as it was, yeah it's, yeah, it's 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 unique. I I still mm-hmm. love somebody brought up earlier the long jacket that Stallone was wearing in Cobra when he was like out in the city looking for the chicken. He stopped at like the tattoo parlor and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Loved that jacket. Um, just kind of like a plain, like almost like a long pea coat kind of thing. But yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, Mel, what's your what's your winner here? What's number one for you? Uh, okay, so Return of the Living Dead two. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. You know, see, dude almost blew me up at the beginning of this. Uh, so the Michael Jackson looking zombie at the end who is uh-huh. wearing the, the red Michael Jackson leather jacket. So not only is that jacket iconic just from Michael Jackson's thriller video, but that jacket also appears in many movies you know, duplicates, not necessarily the same one. But this movie was the first movie I saw this jacket on somebody other than Michael Jackson in Thriller. And Michael Jackson was such, he was also another icon for me when I was younger. I used to be a dancer. I would like rip off all of his moves and create dances for our dance team with them. And (laughs) and I remember seeing this last part of this movie and I was like, oh, my God, this is like Michael Jackson's thriller. I love this yeah. so much. And it was the jacket. The jacket It's all about that red leather freaking jacket. You have that know. jacket, Mel? I feel like you would have that jacket. I don't, but it's very easily accessible. I would buy now. it. Yeah. And especially like this one that he's got on in, in the movie has got to be some kind of like knockoff rep anyway. So like, yeah, you could probably get one that looks identical to this exact. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now. Yeah. Probably. At, at first, I thought he was wearing Hulk, uh, Hollywood Hogan's uh, wrestling <laughs> trunks there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <They look> like... <laughs> well, that jacket, too, almost looks like kind of a, the jacket that he wore. Uh, Hogan wore in like Noel's Bard for like. A Noel, scene or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny with the electric and the, yeah. the lightning. This scene oh, is just so hilarious too because it mm-hmm. just it rolls in all the zombies start getting electrocuted and then it just looks like something out of the thriller music video. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sure it's inspired by thriller. Oh yeah, yeah like for sure. Scene, yeah. yeah, good pick though for sure. I, I you I like how you weaseled your way in with that one. So that was good. what do you mean? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying smart <laughs> like like because we didn't say anything about uh like music video and stuff and and cody came in and and mentioned it and you know i, I know said, i was well, like at this, at this point it's fine i guess but like it's it you did it sneakily in the sense that you wanted that jacket so you used it from the movie which was mm-hmm. smart right yeah well i just remember seeing it in the movie when i was younger and i was like oh that's that jacket mm. oh members only dance party that's a possibility oh i'll write that i was down. a I was a big Michael Jackson guy, so I would, you know, I can moonwalk. I can moonwalk. I can moonwalk too. Ah, uh, <laughs> wait, you I, think I couldn't? Ah, uh, <laughs> you actually probably could do it better than me, to be honest. Oh yeah, for sure. Probably. I didn't. I mean, I wasn't writing. Better. I wasn't writing dance moves for teams. I can like do it to the side in a circle, like Michael oh, yeah, Jackson. Like, right. Mel, Mel is trained. I mean, I used to. I'm a big gal now. <laughs> There we go with all that talk. <laughs> I'm not as light on my toes anymore. So, but do you have a, gl- a Michael Jackson what? glove? <laughs> what? This is the, this goes back to the whole thing where Cody always has random things just at his desk. Like <laughs> this is just like you though. Anytime somebody says something, you're like, oh yeah, hold on, it's yeah. right here. Guess <laughs> what? Oh, where did you get that? Sick. Let me just grab my Michael Jackson glove. Why? 
I went and saw Michael Jackson the musical like a month ago, and I. I saw this. I was like, I have to get this. I can that's, just say that it. is sick, dude. He was he was huge for me as a kid. Yeah, yeah, the musical's yeah. awesome. The musical's awesome. So I what have up, all the Ken? DVDs of his music videos. Yeah, so do I. I that's me one of my too? favorite DVD. Yeah, is with Mine all the music videos. Yeah. Oh, I should show you. I have this huge box set. Yeah, Michael that, Jackson set. Is that the one? It's got all the music videos. It's got all of his live stuff that he did. It's yeah. got Captain EO in it. It's got all the all the goods you yeah. have a I'm box set a i just have single dvds Where? mine's oh, like a white box mine's, set. yeah mine's like a box set oh well okay mine's lame then i just have single DVDs. but you know what i don't have that i want an hd version of moonwalker i don't have one of those i have moonwalker on vhs and i have moonwalker on like a bootleg dvd and then i think it might be in that set i don't know but it's just standard i would love to get like a nice quality version of uh the moonwalker movie i watch moonwalker all the time and i have i have a mug of my it's a michael jackson mug that had like a thing that you put around like your arm and i used to run around with it <laughs> all the time that's awesome yeah it's... and it has like little legs and hands that fall you know that kind of... <laughs> it is just crazy that how iconic he was to all of us really because i have a uh we barely ever did home videos and stuff but i have a video of me at like probably three singing beat it and like dancing like at three years old yeah it's it's just funny to see how he was he was super iconic to me growing up Mm. um for sure Ooh, little super chat from dave Dave says, does it get any better than peter's fur coat from dawn of the dead okay maybe savini's leather jacket either way yeah man and speaking of that i am sorry i really want to go see dawn of the dead tomorrow it's probably not going to happen unfortunately because i don't have anybody to go with that's the problem but they're playing dawn this weekend at select theaters throughout all along the u.s for the 45th anniversary i would love to see and it's playing tomorrow night so i'm gonna try to make some moves to get there but that would be so cool to see that um on the big screen so he's gonna make Uh, some michael jackson moves and try to get there i'm hoping uh i just don't want to go you know, to it's a new theater. There's and the Alamo Draft House just opened here in, in oh, where nice. I am, but it's like okay. an hour away. But oh. I mean, I, I haven't been yet, so there it's also playing there tomorrow. So if I can scrounge up some peeps to go, maybe I'll go and hit, hit it up. But Dave, thank you, man. Go check out Davey Death Ray over on the tube ski. Um, he's actually gonna, I think it's a date, his debut series tomorrow with Foz Rotten yeah. over on his channel called, uh, I think it's called. Movie punks, Har- horror punks, and movie horror punks. punks. Yeah, yes. yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go check that out tomorrow if I don't end up at Dawn of the Dead um, to check out their first show. And Foz is a big supporter of the channels and stuff. We mm-hmm. love him over here. So, um, yeah, sick. All right. So, who's next? Cody. Is big finish. So, I mean, this is probably a boring one, but it's Cobra. <laughs> That code I was talking about, ah! yeah, yeah, dude. I freaking let no, let's let's look at it. This thing is sick. Mm-hmm. Let's look at it. Everything about Cobra is like that's who I want to be when I grow up. The shades in two years. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was wearing like what, like a black thermal underneath or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, was it the long coat or or, or the short coat? The long he, coat. I think he, he had I was thinking coat. the long coat because yeah, he had like black aviators on too or something. Yeah, and that's when he was like, uh, that's when he was, was in the store, right? In the beginning, yeah. I think he has. The... No, he had the. I think he had the short coat on the store. The long coat was when he was searching for the girl when it was doing the angels in the city. Yeah. yeah. Either way, they're. I like both both jackets. Oh, that definitely cool, man. So like, this is the. This would be the short one. That was, I think, at the beginning when he mm-hmm. went to the, the store. And then the long coat. It's hard to see here, but. Um, there. Mm-hmm. The duster. The duster. Duster. Yeah, that's sweet. I, I, know it's pr- that. I know it's not not iconic to most people, but I love that jacket. It's so cool. Like it pop collar. It's just basically like a long ass mm-hmm. peacoat that goes all the way to the ground. Mm-hmm. Which, in my opinion, was would be considered a duster <laughs> based on my my view of it. I guess. <laughs> Look at this jacket, though, dude. I want that cobra jacket. Yeah, that looks That's sick. Ooh, it's like a windbreaker. <laughs> it's a crew jacket. That's cool. I have a cobra hmm. shirt, and everyone thinks it's a GI Joe shirt, so I don't wear it that much. <laughs> 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 <So>. <laughs> when you walk by, they're like, "Cobra!" 
that? And I like tell it. <laughs> No, but like people, oh, is that, that GI Joe? I'm like, no, it's uh, Cobra from Sloan. Like, I I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we definitely do. Yeah, Cobra's great, great, mm-hmm. great, great. It's my favorite Stallone movie. The dust do you want to know what I watched recently? It was Tango and Cash? I forgot how good that movie. I is. love Tango it's and Cash. So good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> What do you think, Stallone film? What would be your favorite? I think mine is either Cobra or Over the Top. I think for me, what do you guys think? I mean, I know that the easy answer is probably Rocky. Rocky, yeah. So Rocky is my number one, but I. Well, that's not it, the easy answer for I, me. I don't Rocky. <laughs> you don't care for Rocky? Go. No. Eh. I've never met anybody who didn't like Rocky. Do the do the do They're the thing okay. you said when I asked about Karate Kid. Eh. It's okay. Eh. <laughs> 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 It's like just shirts now of Mel punching Daniel, Mel punching Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I also really like Daylight. I, I feel like it's a very underrated movie. Seems like a lot of people like that one a lot. I, yeah, I, yeah I, I hear a lot of people say that that's an underrated movie. I've and I hadn't it. seen that since like you guys all talked about it. Like you, Ken, Christian, like you guys kept talking about Daylight. I hadn't seen it until probably like two years ago when me and Ken and Christian did that show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I had never seen it up until then. So I don't know how it passed me by, but, um, <laughs> always a big fan of over the top. I don't know. It was, I think that might've been my first introduction to Stallone, to be honest, back as a kid. Um, but yeah, I love it. I don't know. Cliffhanger was good. Cliffhanger's was awesome. See, Demolition see, Man. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm, I'm by Demolition Man. I got some Demolition Man. Oh, look at it. See, he's always got <laughs> stuff like that hanging around. <laughs> That is nice. Though. I love it. <laughs> a little lenticular action. Yeah. Foil. San Angeles. Nice. Yeah. That's sick. I might have to go Tango and Cash though, because I'm a big Kurt Russell fan too. I like Russell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah see, people are giving love to Daylight. Um... <laughs> Speaking of Kurt Russell, I got him on my my note. <laughs> <on my show. laughs> <laughs> Somebody mentioned Kurt Russell. <laughs> In my notepad. Is there anything else we can say that he's uh, <laughs> that he might have hanging around over there? Oh my god! I don't even want to say what just happened in that chat right now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him to pop on and just list his five. Why not? He does. I don't think he knows it's what's even going on. He said, "What stream?" <laughs> Question. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I, I don't know if he's ready. I mean, you try. It. What? Is... All right, hold on. He's alive. He's alive, so you can kill him. <laughs> well, at least he at least he's Word. he's at least he's awake for the members only one. So. Can you guys hear me clicking away? I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I will mute myself. No, 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 you're fine. You're right. I agree. I that is at least yes. Probably putting Garrett to sleep over here with my clickety click. Yeah, because I'm I'm a big ASMR guy, so I was getting tired. (laughs) But there was so much smoke coming out of my ears, it it kept me awake. I'm almost like I, I almost feel like we I almost feel like um so what do you think of you three doing so you're basically saying you want us three to come back and do a Stallone show. Is that what you're saying? I'm always like, down to do a Stallone show. I'm okay. pretty sure I put a I put out a video of my Stallone collection. You, yeah, we did yeah, you, um you did a hit list. I yeah. Check out my Stallone hit list. <laughs> Yeah, it's all it's it's awesome. It's uh, <laughs> probably my favorite video from yours. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> we did a um, I did one with Christian and Ken. I think it's on Ken's channel, maybe where we did off. Yeah, we each did a ranking or whatever tier system. Mm-hmm. It was fun. We're supposed to be doing an Arnold one, but it's been postponed. But hopefully someday. Um, but I think we. I think at this point, it's almost like. <laughs> We might as well just get Justin on the members only show so I can ream him out in front of everybody. He uh, says I'm running late. Sorry, fuck. <laughs> running like, late, dude? Late? Late? <laughs> late? <laughs> He's, it's like two hours late, dude. So if you want to... <laughs> like, like, like he like, missed like, the show like, late. We were, we were technically supposed to be completely like done both shows right now. 
because mm-hmm. we said we were going to try to make each one an hour. It's almost 11, which means 9 to 10, 10 to 11. That means if late means you would have missed both shows. So so if you guys want to see uh, Garrett yell at Justin, uh, members, right, members only is in the... Yeah, if you want to become a member, <laughs> click that join button. Yeah, we're going <laughs> like to take a little bit of a break, and um, we're going to go back live with the members on our channel. If you want to become a member of the Rad Pack Podcast, you can come after hours and hang out with us. We're going to do my duster collection. We're going to do that. I will Fashion wear them show. and show them. <laughs> And um, we'll make fun of Justin for like an hour. Yeah! So, um, but Cody, thank you for being the rad audible tonight. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for fully for prepared. Um, you came in very clutch, so we appreciate that. Um, we got to come up with a cool name for you for doing stuff like that, which is really cool. <laughs> um, Mel, great job on this. Both of you, awesome lists. Um, guys, if you are watching, please hit uh thumbs up on the stream if you're not subscribed to me you can do that at born to be rad if you're not subscribed to mel you can do that at my killer podcast and if you're not subscribed to cody down below he is at dude who loves movies and he's almost at a thousand so everybody watching this live and on the replay if you're not subscribed to dude who loves movies go subscribe get him to a thousand subs and then come back because him and i are going to be doing a show in like is it two fridays i think it's i think it's next friday next friday (laughs) And we're gonna or, no, talking, no, I'm sorry, next Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday night, talking all things Snick over on my channel, Born to Be Rad, for the next Rad Dude show. So if you want some memories unlocked, you will come on that show and check it out. Cody, do you have anything else coming on your channel that you want to announce or maybe is up and yeah. coming? So I just dropped a video before I got on the stream. It's the Rad Nine movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> She just said before we went live, she goes, did Cody just drop that? She goes, I thought he already did. I said, I think he already did that. And she goes, no, I think it's new. It's oh, new. you never did it? Dude, it took it. I, I had so I had issues with my, uh, I had issues with the whole, with the whole thing, with the editing and everything. Like I kept losing it. And then like, it would be here one day and then it would not be here. So I had to refilm and redo all. So I finally, I know it's late than never, or it's better late than never. So it's there. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I call it the after party. So. Nice. Go, come come join the after party. I love it. I love it too. How about you, Mel? Anything coming up on your channel? Nah, dude. Come on. <laughs> you got something brewing, don't you? When she says no. nah, that means there's something cooking. Not nah, it. I just know. I know there is. <laughs> so go nope. check her out on that. Thanks. And guys, if you haven't, go check out my channel, Born to Be Rad, because I did my movie room two tour and I want you all to check it out. All right. Thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, Rad Pack signing out. Like always, stay rad. Stay weird. Stay killer.